Hello and welcome to Project Kenai. My name is Paul Fassell and I'm a member of the Kenai team at Sun Microsystems. Today I'll be giving you an introduction to our website to give you a flavor of what we offer today and how easy it is to navigate the site. First, a bit of information on Project Kenai. Kenai is Sun's foundation for its connected developer experience. We're striving to be more than just a forge. Today when you start a project, like this translator demo project, you get a suite of integrated services to host your open source projects and code. Currently, each project gets a number of features. Three varieties of source code management, Subversion, Mercurial, and Git. Issue tracking through Bugzilla and Jira. Collaboration features, such as a wiki, forum, instant messaging chat, and mailing lists. A download area to host your project's builds and documents. And an optional website for your project. We also make it easy for you to connect with other developers who are sharing similar interests. And in the future, we plan to introduce other cloud-related services to make your application development process even easier. For example, you can access your Project Kenai projects from the NetBeans IDE, something we'll discuss later in this screencast. Now, let's take a look at the Project Kenai homepage. On the left, there's a navigation bar with tabs you can use to access various areas of Project Kenai. We'll talk about that later. On the right side of the home page, you see recent news about Project Kenai. At the bottom of the page, there's a section called Forum Posts that lists all the recent posts, or you can click Active Topics to see the most active topics. Also on the bottom of the page is a list of projects showing projects being specially featured and a recent tab that shows recently added projects. Up here is a Join Now button, a Learn More link that takes you to the main documentation page, and a What You Get link. When you click this link, you see the nuts and bolts of Project Kenai page. This page is useful for getting an overview of what Project Kenai is. You can also use it once you sign up as a guide to getting started. Now I'll click the Home tab to go back to the Kenai homepage. As I mentioned before, you can use these tabs on the top left to navigate to different areas of Project Kenai. When you click the Forums tab, you see a list of Project Kenai forums. This is one place where people can discuss Project Kenai. As you can see, there's a general forum, a forum where you can talk about the user interface, another for discussing features, a forum for talking about and reporting bugs, and a forum where you can request help for your project or offer help to others. At the bottom of the page, there's a list of recent forum topics. Now click the People tab to show all the people who are members of Project Kenai. Up here, there's a cover flow of the most recently added members. Clicking any of these images will take you to that person's personal profile page. I can also use the People search box to find people. I'll enter Paul and click Search to find people whose names or profiles have the name Paul. Five pages of them. You can use these page buttons to navigate through the list. When the People page is displayed, in the left navigation bar there's a tag area called People Tags. These are tags that individual members have used to identify themselves. Hovering over any of the terms shows you how many people are associated with that particular tag. In this case, I'm hovering over Java, and you can see there are 1,335 members who've used Java as a personal tag. Clicking any of the terms will take me to a full listing of the people who have associated themselves with that term. If I click Java, I get a list of all the people who have used Java as their personal tag. Since there are so many people using this tag, there are 45 pages of names listed. When I click page 45, I see the last page of users, and the page buttons at the top change as you see here to list the first page and the last five pages. This list of tags is just a subset showing the most common tags. If you don't see the tag you're looking for, you can click All Tags to see all the tags. You can also expand the page to show more by clicking here at the border between the left nav bar and the list of tags. You can do this at any time to expand the page. So here you see the full list of tags. You can click any tag to see which members use it. You can also look for your own tags to make sure they're correct. For example, down here there are 88 people using the Oracle tag, but only one person using the Orcale tag. That's probably a misspelling. I'll click it to see who's using this tag. Well, it looks like it was me, so I'll have to correct that spelling later. Another way you can navigate is by using the breadcrumbs list at the top of the page. I'll click the People node to go back to the People page. And here on the People page, I'll click the left margin so I can use the left nav bar again. I'm now going to click the Projects tab. Here you see a full alphabetical listing of all the projects that are hosted at Project Kenai. If you want the list ordered by the date projects were created, click the Most Recent Projects tab, which gives you a list starting with the most recently added projects. I can also use this search box to search for projects. I'll enter Kenai Help Docs and click Search, and we see the Project Kenai Documentation and Training Project listed. This project is where we maintain the documentation for Project Kenai. You can click the project name to go to the project homepage, or you can click any of the features listed on the right to go directly to that area of the project. 
With the Projects page open, in the left navbar you can see Project Tags. These tags are similar to the People Tags. Project administrators have used these tags to identify their projects and make it easier for other developers to find them. Just as with the People Tags, you can hover over a tag to see how many projects use it, and you can click a tag to see all the projects that use that tag. As with the People Tags, this Project Tags area is just a short digest of all project tags. You can click All Tags to see a list of all project tags. If I click the My Page tab, since we aren't logged in, you see a login prompt. When you are logged in, your My Page will show some useful information, like a list of projects you've joined. We'll take a look at a couple of versions of this page later. If you click the Home tab, it takes you back to the Project Kenai home page where we started. Most of these tabs are also represented at the bottom of the page. Home, My Page, Projects, People, Contact Us, which you can click to send email to the Kenai administrators, Join Now, and Documentation, which takes you to the Home Documentation page. This page has links to the Frequently Asked Questions and How Do I pages, our screencasts, the latest release notes, recent doc updates, and a full table of contents for the documentation. I'll click the logo at the top left of the page to navigate back to the home page. At the top right of every page, there's a box that says Jump To. You might think this is a search box. Actually, this is a box you use to jump to specific information on Project Kenai categorized by project, people, or tag. Like a search box, you enter a string of characters slowly. In this case, I'm starting with A, and we see a list of up to 12 project names, people names, project tags, and people tags in that order associated with the letter A. If I continue to type, in this case I'm typing Ajax, it now reduces the number of associated items to just those related to the term Ajax. And then if I select the term Ajax 57, which represents 57 projects with the tag Ajax, I see a list of projects using that tag. How about if I try entering somebody's name? I'll try my name, Paul. As expected, there are a lot of Pauls on the site. If I add an underscore and start typing my last name, I see the people tag I added to my profile. Clicking the tag goes to my user profile. I'll now go back to the Kenai homepage by using the breadcrumbs list at the top. As you can see, we're several nodes down the hierarchy. At this point, using breadcrumbs, you could go to the people page or all the way up to the Kenai homepage. We'll click kenai.com to go to the homepage. You've now seen most of the ways you can navigate around the site. There's a lot available without having to log in or become a member.